Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurophysician from Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. I am also the medical author of the books Focus Neurology and Exam Oriented Clinical Neurology. My email is sriklpm at gmail.com. Today we are going to talk about the terminology of sensory symptoms. The terminology of sensory symptoms, concepts of sensory system part 3. Terminology of sensory symptoms, parasthesias. It refers to tingling or pins and needles sensation but may include a wide variety of other abnormal sensations except pain. Dysesthesias. It denotes all types of abnormal sensations including painful ones regardless of whether a stimulus is evident. Hypesthesia and hyposthesia. It refers to a reduction of cutaneous sensation to a specific type of testing such as light touch. Hyperesthesia. It means pain or increased sensitivity in response to touch. Hypalgesia or analgesia. It refers to reduced or absent pain sensation and perception. No seception. Allodynia. It refers to the situation in which a non-painful stimulus once perceived is experienced as painful. Hyperalgesia. It denotes severe pain in response to a mildly applied noxious stimulus. Hyperpathia. It is a broad term encompasses all the phenomena described by hyperesthesia, allodynia and hyperalgesia. Disorders of deep sensation arising from the muscle spindles, tendons and joints affect proprioception, position sense. So, sensory ataxia. The manifestations include imbalance, rhomboxane, particularly with eyes closed, clumsiness of precision movements and unsteadiness of gait. The balance is because of three systems which work together. One, the ocular, second, the posterior column, third is vestibular. If three systems function well, person will have perfect balance. But even if two systems function well, they have a reasonable good balance. But if only one system is functioning or no system is functioning, they lose balance. So in persons who have already posterior column lesions like tabis dorsalis where one system is gone, you take off the other system that is ocular system by closing the eyes and therefore two systems are gone so patient loses his balance. Whereas if only one system is affected posterior column with eyes open and with intact vestibular system, he still can maintain balance. That is the principle of rhomboxane. So, sensory ataxia manifestations include imbalance, rhomboxane, particularly the eyes closed, clumsiness of precision movements and unsteadiness of gait. Pseudoathetosis are continuous involuntary movements of the outstretched hand and particularly and fingers particularly in eyes closed. So, what is the origin of these aberrant sensations? Symptoms and structures affected. Parasthesias. The structures affected are large fibers either in the nerve or the posterior column. The symptom of the burning symptom, the structure affected is small fibers. The prickling pain symptom, the structure affected is combined large and small fibers. The symptom of pseudo cramp, the structure is affected is large fiber dysfunction, band tightness symptom. The structure affected is lemniscal system of the cord. The symptom of lancinating pain. The structure affected is small fiber neuropathy and radiculopathy. Hyperalgesia symptom. The structure is partial peripheral nerve damage. So these are all the important concepts of the terminology of sensory symptoms. The other important concepts of clinical neurology I have put in a book called Exam Oriented Clinical Neurology written by me Dr. S. Srinivas. 
This book will be especially useful for clinical neurology exams because I have discussed all the exam oriented clinical neurology points. The other book which I have written is Focused Neurology. The author is myself, Dr. S. Srinivas. In this book, I put the important concepts of neurology in a question and answer format. This book will be especially useful for Viva and Oral exam. This book is available on online from all leading booksellers including Amazon. So if interested, this book could be purchased from Amazon. I hope you have enjoyed listening to these wonderful concepts of the terminology of sensory symptoms. If you have enjoyed this, please like and share the link. But do subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Sinwas Medical Concepts and my web page, Dr. Sinwas Concepts. Thank you. Bye.